as sound as a dollar. That's a phrase people used when I was a boy to refer to something substantial, something solid, something lasting. Of course, back then a dollar was a silver dollar, the heavy coin made out of 90% pure silver. A dollar contained about three quarters of an ounce of pure silver. But what has happened since then? Well, in 1972, this is what a dollar looked like. Okay, let's say it's the same size. The difference is this dollar contains no silver at all. It is a combination of copper and nickel. Then in 1979, even this was reduced. This was a dollar. About the size of a quarter, again, contains no silver, copper, and nickel. And then, of course, the modern dollars are gold-looking, but they actually contain no gold. They're actually a combination of copper, zinc, manganese, and nickel. Just how stupid do they think we really are? When this dollar was in circulation, America was the largest creditor nation in the world. We were the largest manufacturer. We were the largest exporter. Where have we gone wrong? Why have we gone from this to this? Today, America is the greatest debtor nation. We are the biggest importer of goods. Well, the key is on this counterfeit dollar. Federal Reserve note. Okay, Federal Reserve, that's our central bank. Okay, that's an official government agency, right? Wrong. The Federal Reserve is a private bank that Congress has giving, given the authority to regulate our money. Note. Say, what is a note? A note is something that you use and then you throw away, right? Federal Reserve note. This isn't a dollar. The Constitution defines a dollar as a certain weight of silver. We have been robbed, people. We have been robbed of our money. And what has the government done to our money? Well, when the Federal Reserve became our central bank in 1913, one of the reasons was because we needed an elastic money supply. Elastic is code word for a money supply that the government could inflate. The Federal Reserve was supposed to stabilize the value of the dollar. Well, just how well has the Federal Reserve stabilized the value of the dollar? Since the founding of the Federal Reserve, the dollar has lost 95% of its value. So what happened to the 95 percent? What happened was we were robbed of this money. The government confiscated this money through the hidden tax of inflation. So why have we gone from this to this this. This, folks, is inflation. The government can't create silver and gold out of thin air, but they can create as much paper money as they want to. Inflation is when the government increases the money supply. The problem with increasing the money supply is that for every dollar created, every other dollar loses value. We see that as rising prices, and people often think that inflation is rising prices. Inflation is actually an increase in the money supply, where inflation occurs when the government prints more money. Inflation is actually a hidden tax. It's a covert tax and people don't realize that they're being taxed. Since the Federal Reserve, the dollar has lost 95% of its value. This is what we're left with. 
All right, what happened to the other 95% of all those dollars? What happened to it was the government confiscated it. Inflation allows the government to confiscate the money of the people. And the worst thing about it is the people don't even know it. When the dollar was backed by gold and silver, there was a natural limitation on the amount of money that the government could spend. The government couldn't spend any more money than it could get from the citizens through taxation. Through inflation, the, there is no limit on the amount of the money the government can spend. Therefore, there is no limit on the size and the power that the government can amass. Inflation threatens our very freedoms that the Constitution was designed to protect. Inflation allows governments to go into debt, and as a result of going off the gold and silver standard, America has become the world's largest debtor nation that history has ever known. Our debt is so large that there is no chance that it will ever be paid back. So the government has no choice at this point but to keep printing dollars. That's one way that they can renege on their debt is by just keep printing dollars to pay their debt. The problem is every dollar that they print makes every other dollar become worth less in value. We all know that the government is bankrupt, but that doesn't stop them from spending. It doesn't stop them from going into debt. The, the government is going to renege on their debt and to do it they're going to totally destroy our dollar. That's how they do it right there folks. And that's how they're going to pay our Social Security and all of our other debts. So what would you rather have tucked under your mattress? This Or this. Well, just in case you haven't been paying attention, the government can't print these out of thin air. This is Survival Doc reminding you be prepared or be prepared to be fleeced.